Hello, my name is Ingvar Wittet. I work as a program manager for demand planning and IPR at IFS R&D. Today, I'm going to show you how to do collaborative forecasting with IFS Demand Planner. Now, this is the Demand Plan client. It's a separate client used by the master forecaster. Currently, we only have a like client designed for casual users in IFS Arena. However, we're working on getting the, this main client uh, into Arena as well. So eventually, this main client will be retired. But let's get on with the forecasting. Here I'm looking at the Coca-Cola item for store number one in Norway. If we look at the forecast graph down here, the x-axis is uh, the time uh, axis, which is months in this case, and the y-axis is quantities. The blue line here is the historical sales of Coca-Cola, and this yellow line is the system forecast generated by IFS demand planning. We also have a green forecast, which is the adjusted forecast, which is where the forecasters can change the forecast according to their beliefs about the future sales. Now, I will going to ask my key account, Sam, about his beliefs on this particular forecast. In order to do that, I have to publish the item to him. I click up here to publish it. I search for Sam, and here he is, Sam Miller. And I'm going to give him full access of the Coca-Cola item. I do it like this, and I see that it's included with the full access symbol here. Click OK. In order for Sam to see this in, uh, in the Light Arena client, the status has to be in status released. So I move it from locked to released. I'm also going to publish the Fanta item to him. But this I'm going to publish as collaborative access, indicated by the symbol over here. Now I'm going to see how it looks for Sam in the Arena client. When he goes into the demand forecast client in Arena, he will see the two items that I've published to him and the access level. You see that the Coca-Cola here has full access and Fanta has collaborative access. So if I click on the line here, it will select the Coca-Cola item and he will see the same history and forecast as I see in my full client. Here is allowed to manipulate the forecast, either by moving one period up or down. If you hold down shift, you can draw it in straight lines. If you hold down control, you can move it up and down. The entire forecast like this. Or you can hold down both control and shift and then you can free draw your forecast like this. If you want to type in exact numbers, you can do it down do it down here in the forecast table in the adjusted forecast column. Once Sam is happy with his forecast, he clicks save up here and then he can set it to reviewed to give the master forecaster an indication that you're done with the forecasting for the Coca-Cola item. Then I click on to the Fanta item. This is published with collaborative access, meaning that on this item, you aren't allowed to change the adjusted forecast directly, but you have your own forecast called My Adjusted. Again, this can be manipulated in the same way, either by the mouse, or you can type in or paste in numbers in the My Adjustment, uh, My, uh, My Adjusted Forecast down here in the table. When you're done with it, click save, and that's it. Now, if we go back to the main client as the master forecaster, we go back to the Coca-Cola item. Here you see that the adjusted forecast is changed. And this is changed by Sam in the Arena client. And it's manipulated directly, the adjusted forecast. So this item is good to go. On the Fanta item, however, the adjusted forecast is still the same. But the collaborative forecast here is equal to what Sam entered in my adjusted forecast in the Arena client. Now, the master forecaster can either uh, decide to adjust the forecast somewhat near what the collaborator is saying, or you can right-click and set the forecast equal 
to the collaborative forecast. So now the adjusted forecast is equal to Sam's suggestion. Thank you for listening and please subscribe to our YouTube channel.